called and I am trying to have my second child um, the same way I had my first child, which was through at-home donor sperm insemination. So donor sperm at-home insemination. And I am uh, currently, I have put up a GoFundMe um, just to try to earn that little bit extra that I need to buy another vial because I really, if I can help it, don't want to miss one single egg. And when I went on vacation back home to Washington State, um, that video prior to, I said that I really didn't want to miss um, an insemination because what if that was the healthy egg? Well, and I did get pregnant with that egg. Now it did not work out and it, be, it was a chemical pregnancy at the end of it. So, um, so if I can help it, I really don't want to miss an egg. And so um, I will find out later tonight if I have made enough to get a vial um, and I will have to make that phone call tonight. Um, I'm three hours ahead of the cryobank and so I can wait as long as 7 p.m. my time before making that phone call. So um, that kind of is, in, that's in my favor doing that. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and start my ovulation testing anyway. Um, whether I get to inseminate this cycle or not, I'm still going to record my, ovu or my uh, ovulation testing because if anything, I want to make sure that it is still consistently the same so that if if I do get to inseminate this cycle or if I have to wait till next cycle I want to make sure that I'm that I'm being consistent with my ovulation so anyway because I only get to buy one vial of sperm and it has to be at the right time and I have to ovulate of course so anyway um, so this testing period I'm going to be using the um, clear blue digital ovulation test and this is the pink holder because I already have a purple from last time. And you can use these until they die. So you can use these for like six months until the battery dies. So um, save your holder. And, and if you want to do what I do, um, I, have a, I always have a purple and then I buy the pink and use the pink sticks with the purple holder. They totally work interchangeably so I've done it so many times for years and it's just a stick the technology is in the holder so anyway um, but I'm going to be doing purple holder with the, with the pink and then I have my easy at home and I am going to, and so uh, what I'm gonna do is try to go through a little bit more in detail of how I do this because I'm getting a lot of questions from girls that are confused about, well, this happened and that happened and what am I gonna do? Does that mean I'm not ovulating or is, you know? So um, I'm just gonna show my example and um, hopefully answer any questions you might have because even the most informative videos from the doctors and the nurses of pre-mom and whoever doctor or, or nurse, mountain moms, whatever, um, sometimes even the best information still, it gets confusing when you're in your own bathroom and it's not happening the way their video said it. So anyway, um, so this is, you know, this is real life right here. Um, so anyway, um, I'm going to, my urine is already, um, in a cup and what I do is because these tests rely on the lines alone and not digital technology such as the uh, clear blue um, your urine concentration totally matters and you have to be consistent every single day if you if you choose to test twice a day each time leading up to that test has to be identical every single day so I do not drink I have my last drink of water in the morning by like 10, 15 or so in the morning. And then no more water or drink of any kind after 10.30. And I go to the bathroom at 10.30 for my last bathroom. <laughs> and then I do not drink water or have, or go to the bathroom from 10.30 until like one o'clock. Now I went over and I think it's like two o'clock right now. 
that um, I finally went to the bathroom and I, I need to go drink some water. But anyway, so that is gonna make this so much more consistent and um, true. And also one thing about the pre-mom, they say to read this in five minutes. It's still running through at five minutes. It doesn't make any sense. Now you can do that and take your picture with your app at five minutes and that's totally, you know, and that's the way you're supposed to do it. But I don't think it's accurate. Um, and you know, anyway. <laughs> But that's what they say to do, and if you want to do it by their strict rules, do it. But the line becomes clear and dark in 20 minutes. So I wait at least 20 minutes before I take my picture because I'll tell you right now, the, the reading that the app is going to give it at 5 and the reading it's going to give it at 20 are, are different. And the, the line gets darker and clearer in, in about 20 minutes than it does at five minutes. And I'll tell you, in five minutes, it's still streaking. It's still processing. And I thought about writing to them and telling them, why do you say five minutes when it's, it's still, literally, it's still processing. Anyway, okay, so let's get to it. I'm going to dip this, and then I will dip the clear blue. Okay. And... I just dump it out because <laughs> I'm just fighting with the package here. And then what I do is um, they say to, to lay it down on a dry flat surface. I always put it right back on the wrapper. So anyway, here is the test and you dip it until probably about five to seven seconds. And I'm not going to show my urine. Everybody knows what that looks like. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the, it just says to, to dip it until the ink rises. So it's very um, flexible on that. This um, digital, you dip for 15 seconds. And I'm opening up my new pack and they come in clusters like this, in clusters of 10. And so I'm going to put one in. And then also, because it's been a while, um, you'll see that when I insert this into the purple holder, it will show all three icons flashing to show that it has completely reset itself and has completely forgotten about my last cycle. So anyway, arrow to arrow, put it in there. You'll see that it is completely forgotten about my last cycle and anything I did. And it is starting completely over, which means it is going to calibrate to my new hormone level, or to what my hormone level is doing right now. 14, 15, okay. And you put the cap back on, because you dipped, you know, obviously. You gotta take the cap off. And when it starts, when it starts to blink, I will set my timer and come back in four minutes. Also a tip is do not throw away your urine sample until the tests are done because if the digital errors and you've dumped your urine in the toilet, you know, <laughs> there's no going back after that. So don't dump your urine. Wait until your tests are totally done processing first. Oh, okay. I barely caught that in time. Okay, so you can see how light that is. Actually, it looks like it's kind of getting darker. But anyway, but you can see how pink and foggy it is. So, and this is at right at five minutes. So, cause this takes five minutes to process. And I did them right after, one right after the other. So anyway, um, I am going to take a picture now at the five minute mark. And I'm also going to take a picture 20 minutes from now and show you the difference. And also I wanna show how light the line is on the digital. So the line on the left is the test line and the line on the right is the control line. And although we're not looking for these to match, they will eventually, but they do not have to match for you to have a smiley face positive surge. And that's just for the digital. 
Okay, and I would not tell you to go against the directions. Um, you can do whatever you want. And if following the directions exactly and taking your result at five minutes is what you want to do, then by all means, do it. But this is exactly 20 minutes later, and it is a clear reading. There is no more fogginess. There's no more, there's no more ink running across. It's just clear and settled. And the five minute reading gave me a 0.27. And this one is at a 0.41. So I'm going to take the 0.41. Anyway, so that's how I do it. I wait at least 20 minutes and take that reading because like I said, it is still running and cloudy and everything else at the five minute mark. But like I said, if, if you do not want to do it this way and you wanna do it at the five minute mark and take your picture, and by all means, please do it. So anyway, so 0 0.41, and uh, because I took two pictures on my chart, on the graph, it's going to take the highest number as the reading for the graph. So it is cycle day nine, and I'm gonna start with the Easy at Home LH strip and I'm going to take a picture at five minutes and then I'm going to take another picture at 20. I go off of the 20 minutes. So anyway, here is my strip and I'm going to dip for five to seven seconds. And in about five to seven seconds, you can see the ink start to rise and that's when they say just to look for. I will be back in five minutes to see what it looks like and take a picture. Okay, so it has been exactly five minutes and you can see that it is still processing. The ink has not settled and the entire window is foggy pink. So I will still take a picture at, the, at this five minute mark. And then uh, I'm gonna finish out with another 15 minutes. And so it'll come back, I'll come back in exactly 20 minutes after the dip, after it was first dipped and um, take my final picture. Okay, it has been a complete 20 minutes and everything is clear and it looks like a nice clear reading and I took a picture and it gave it a 0.44. So that is a little bit higher than yesterday's afternoon at 20 minutes. And so now I will take a clear blue. So again, I'm using the pink one from the pink holder kit in the purple holder, arrow to arrow. And you'll see that no more icons, but because it calibrated to yesterday's test, it is ready to continue testing. And I wanted to point out too that in the directions, it says to take the cap off first and then insert it because I know one other holder I have, when you put it in like this and you take the cap off, the, the test actually comes out with the cap and then you'll get a book in the window and if that happens, just shove it back in and the book will disappear. Um, if you take the test, if you take the cap off, do your dipping and lay it down. And while it's processing, the book shows up. I would contact Clear Blue and get a refund. Because one, if you're taking, if the test is processing and that book shows up while it's processing, there's something either wrong with these sticks or there's something wrong with the holder and you're gonna waste a lot of sticks and money and not get to test the way you should have. So anyway, but this one will not come out and I will dip for 15 and 15, okay. All right, so I will set the timer and be back in five. Okay, so it has been almost five minutes and I'm actually hoping for an empty circle just because 
My sperm do not come until Thursday and it is Tuesday. This is nerve wracking because <laughs> I really hope it's an empty circle. Okay, good. <laughs> All right. And um, also I am going to, I'm going to test I've been, I do LH twice a day anyway, but with the clear blue, because you know, they're expensive and you really want to make sure your tests count. Um, I do clear blue in the afternoon around one or two o'clock. It's almost, I think it's almost 2.30 right now. I'm not sure. Maybe even almost three o'clock now. Um, got a late start today, but also I'm going to do another clear blue tonight because um, I have a, um, my CM has changed and is like becoming very fertile. So anyway, when that happens, I start doing testing twice a day with the clear blue also. So anyway, let's take a look and see what the line looks like. Okay, so the line is definitely picking up from yesterday. It was lighter than that yesterday. And so even though that's a really light line, um, it has happened in the past before where I got a huge jolt <laughs> surge and um you know i've seen this before and i was positive six hours later so anyway so i'm going to test again around eight o'clock and just make sure that there aren't any surprises my temperature this morning was really really low which has been in the past a surge temperature of 97.11 so when it's that low um, surge is coming very, very soon. So anyway, I will be back at eight o'clock or so. Okay, so it is still cycle day nine. I took this over an hour ago, forgot all about it. And so obviously it's, you know, dried. Um, so I had to re-dip it. I mean, I saved my urine, of course. And this is the current one. So it is getting very matchy, um, which is okay, so long as I wait to surge tomorrow and ovulate on Thursday. So anyway, it's like 10.30 at night, and I'm going to take the purple uh, digital real quick and hopefully just have a flashing smiley face and not a positive surge. Um, it's starting to get a little stressed out. So anyway, let's um, go ahead and do it and see what happens. Okay, I'm a little nervous. Um, the app gave it a 0.71. That's usually when I get smiley faces. Oh my gosh, yay! I am so glad. Okay, 0.71, not even flashing yet, still an empty circle. This is wonderful. Let's look at the line. Okay, it's getting there. I'm so glad. Okay, so I will hopefully get my surge tomorrow and um, ovulate Thursday when my sperm come. Hopefully my sperm come. I think if they didn't even come till I don't think my sperm came until about 4.30 last time, so that's not that great, but it's not terrible. So um, hopefully it'll come earlier in the day tomorrow. But anyway, um, I will see you tomorrow. Okay, so today is cycle day 10, and um, it is like, I don't know what time it is, 1.30 or something like that. So um, anyway, we were kind of gone all morning, and so I just now took my Easy at Home LH strip, and um, wow, is it ever positive. So I'm pretty sure my purple holder, which was um, an empty circle this morning, um, as you saw, is probably either gonna flash or probably be 
a static smiley face and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so here it is and the app gave it a 1.22, so huge, huge jump um, from this morning until now. So I'm really excited. Um, I'll go ahead and take the purple holder, clear blue digital. Okay, let's see what happens. Again, I had a, I did first morning urine this morning and it was an empty circle, which is actually in the instructions for the purple holder is to test with first morning urine to catch the rise in estrogen. And it was an empty circle. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Yay. I'm not surprised, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it though. It's fun. It's fun to get the smiley face. So, wow, this is so great. So, um, getting my surge, my positive surge in the early afternoon makes me excited because usually that means I will ovulate tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon or evening. And the sperm come tomorrow. So um, basically as soon as the sperm come, I have to inseminate because, um, because it's ICI vial, so it's unwashed sperm, so it needs that five to seven hours is what I've read in the past. It needs that time for the capacitation process to take place for it to be able to fertilize the egg. And I want to have that underway before my egg comes out. So anyway, let's take a look at the line. Okay, so that's what the line looks like. And it's not even super matching. And like I've said in the past, these don't have to match for you to get your positive. So the line on the left is the test line. If I took another one tonight, they might match. It just depends on how concentrated my urine is. But yeah, I had a pretty good concentration for this one and it resulted in a very, very positive, easy at home strip. Oh, and by the way, I think I said this already, the app gave it a 1.22. So anyway, that's it. I am surging and as soon as my sperm come tomorrow, I will inseminate. So it is about 7.19 p.m. and I just wanted to show this has just been dipped and look how dark the line is coming up already. Like it literally just ran across. Anyway, um, so I'm going to set it for five minutes and then I'm going to try and see if my pink holder will be an automatic smiley face when brand new coming right out of the package. Okay, I just took this and it is, this is at five minutes and it actually looks pretty clear. Usually it's pretty foggy. So this has been five minutes. It is very positive again. I got my first positive earlier in the last clip um, this afternoon at like 1.54 p.m., something like that. And here is my purple holder. And this will stay a smiley face and will not be able to be used again for 48 hours after this afternoon at 2. So um, day after tomorrow at 2 p.m., it should turn off and reset itself. And then the next time it's used, the three icons will show up again. But anyway, I am going to use a brand new pink holder test with the sticks it came with, which are right here. And we're going to see if this goes straight to a smiley face, knowing now that I am having my surge and um, it should be positive. I don't know if it's just the purple holder that calibrates, but I have had the purple holder go straight to a smiley face in the past as well. 
and other times I have had it be um, an empty circle, even though I was totally having my surge with, and I had a positive digital from before then. So anyway, um, so here it is. And I'm going to go ahead, arrow to arrow, put it in. You see the icon turns on. It doesn't do any flashing or anything like the purple one. It just immediately shows the um, stick icon and pull off the cap. And I'm going to dip for 15 seconds. Okay. So it has been dipped. Put the cap back on and it'll start to blink. Great. And I will set the timer. And actually, I'm just going to let it run and do the the um, the speed thing. <laughs> the speed, the uh, fast fast forward. So I'll go ahead and let it run, and we will see what happens here. Let me adjust this a little bit better. Okay. And I try not to touch it too much after it starts. I think I had an error once when I, I jiggled it. I, I feel like that's what happened when I jiggled it. Anyway, okay, so it should um, show up in just a couple minutes. So yeah, it is showing a smiley face directly out of the package. So if you are having your surge, this one does not need to calibrate to your hormone levels like the purple one does. And if you are surging and you pull it right out of the package, it should be a smiley face right off the bat. And then you'll have 19 sticks left <laughs> in case um, this cycle's not your cycle, and you can save them all and do them next cycle. So anyway, I can't remember how long this, um, I think it's displays for six minutes, or I can't remember. Let's see. Your result will remain on the display window for eight minutes. So you'll get to see your smiley face for eight minutes with the pink one, but with the purple one, it's for 48 hours. And that's why they say you can't use the purple one anymore because it's not possible to test again with the purple when it is stuck on the smiley face. And they figure you don't need to test anymore once you get your positive surge anyway, and so there's no reason to need to. But I kind of like knowing when my surge is over or if it's still going on or what, but I'm going to let this be it. and. I will see you tomorrow when the sperm arrive. Okay, and I just took a picture and the Premom app gave this a point, or a 1.52. So a lot higher than this afternoon at 1.22. So now it is at 1.52. This is nice and dark and smiles. Anyway, so yeah, so there you have it. This is the end of my LH surge testing for ovulation. And I am looking forward to getting my sperm tomorrow and ovulating tomorrow. And Friday will be one DPO. So it is November 18th. It is 10 minutes to 7 p.m. I had ovulation pain starting around 3 o'clock this afternoon. It's kind of been... It kind of started at one o'clock, but it really became intense at about three o'clock. So I am very certain that I have already ovulated and here it is seven o'clock, almost seven o'clock and my sperm are not here yet. They have until eight o'clock. So um, I am a little irritated, but um, I know, I mean, it's FedEx, so uh, I know it'll be here by eight o'clock. So they have one hour for to get here. Um, I don't like that um, 
I don't have the sperm in before I ovulated, but that this is just the way it's happening. But, um, you know, and, and give the sperm another five hours to um, capacitate, do that whole process. I'll probably conceive, if I do conceive, uh, around midnight or 1 a.m. <laughs> so anyway, um, I'm just going to relax. Um, we're having dinner now, and I'm just going to, when when they come, I'm just going to hurry up and, and inseminate. I was going to show the sperm and the process of everything, but because this is, because I've already ovulated and I, I just, I'm just going to hurry up. I'm not going to film anything. I'm just going to hurry up and get, get the sperm in. And um, tomorrow night will be one DPO. So, um, but anyway, that is it for this video. Again, thank you so much to everyone who donated. Um, I so appreciate you. And without you, I would not be doing this. So because of you, I am inseminating and I am so blessed and so grateful. So thank you so much. And I will see you. Thanksgiving day would be 70 PO. So I'll probably start testing at that time. So hopefully um, get a positive uh, over the Thanksgiving weekend. So anyway, wish me luck, pray for me, and I will see you then. Bye.